Happy Hump Day, everybody. I'm Rolene Marks. This is the Israel Brief brought to you by Lay of the Land, where we bring you those top stories making top headlines right here in Israel. So let's get right into it. It's chilly over here, and uh, I know that we all just want to get snuggly warm and uh, keep out of the rain. So our first story is quite remarkable. It has been reported that Defense Minister Benny Gantz hosted Palestinian authorities Authority President Mahmoud Abbas at his home in Rosh Ha'ayin. It hasn't been reported exactly when he held this meeting, but what we do know is that this is the first time that the Palestinian Authority President Abbas has held a meeting with top-level Israeli officials inside Israel since 2010. It was just the two of them in the meeting and they were reported to have discussed increasing security cooperation, maintaining and ensuring stability with the current security status, as well as ensuring that there is no uptick in terror attacks and violence. Gantz thanked Abbas for his role in helping to ensure the safe passage of two Israelis who took a wrong turn and landed up in Ramallah just several weeks ago. The two reportedly exchanged gifts when they met. We don't know what uh, uh, President Abbas gave the defense minister, but we do know the defense minister gave Mahmoud Abbas a gift of olive oil. Now, there have been some factions within the broad-based coalition, more notably to the right, who have heavily criticized this meeting. And it comes as Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad have signed an agreement to increase terror attacks, not just on Israeli civilians, but also to undermine the authority of Mahmoud Abbas within the West Bank. And while we're on the subject of Hamas, terror entities within the Gaza Strip fired towards uh, the border between Israel and Gaza earlier today and an Israeli civilian was injured. In response, the IDF have struck Hamas targets within the Strip. The Palestinian media there reporting that several farmers have been injured. Meanwhile, Israeli farmers have been given a directive to discontinue work until further notice. No directives uh, in addition to this have been given and we are watching the story as it develops. We now go to the United States where major Jewish leaders have expressed their dismay and concern at a majority vote held at the United Nations General Assembly which allows for budget to be allocated towards an open-ended probe into alleged human rights violations by the State of Israel. This will basically be uh, an ongoing probe into to any uh, accusations of human rights abuses that Israel is alleged to have committed. The leaders have said that this demonstrates a clear bias against the Jewish state and notes that no other member state uh, ha- is subject to any kind of investigation if their military engages in a defensive operation to protect civilians. Meanwhile, it has also been reported that come the new year, which is just in a few days' time, countries like China, Venezuela, Qatar, Pakistan, Russia, Libya, Eritrea, and a few others will join the United Nations Human Rights Council. So I guess that gives you an accurate description of where we are holding with regards to the United Nations. And our final story today takes a diplomatic twist and we can say congratulations to our ambassador to Bahrain, Ambassador Eitan Na'e, who presented his credentials to King Hamad of Bahrain. This comes a year after our two countries have signed normalization treaties within the Abraham Accords and Ambassador Nair was welcomed with a guard of honor. We also say a huge mazal tov to Ambassador Ron Prosso. Ambassador Prosso has been our ambassador to the United Nations. Not an easy job by no stretch of the imagination as well as to the United Kingdom and he has also held the portfolio as Director General of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Well, yesterday, Foreign Minister Yair Lapid tapped him as our ambassador to Berlin in Germany, and we wish both ambassadors every success in their appointed uh, tenure. 
So these are our top stories making headlines. Don't forget, we're taking you on a trip through memory lane by posting articles from our archives on our Facebook page, which you can find at Lottle site. While you're there, don't be shy to give us a like or a follow and share our content. Our website is www.layoftheland.online. Maybe you fancy yourself a writer for Lottle and we would love it. So take a, a, a look at the title of articles that we publish and uh, let us know if you are happy to write for us. We'll be back in the second week of January with brand new content. We are very excited to present some of the content that we have received so far. We're on YouTube. Our channel is The Israel Brief and we would love it if you help us get news from Israel out to as many people as possible. That news you won't see in the mainstream media by clicking on the subscribe button. And of course, we're on Twitter as well because where else would we be? And you can find us at Lay of the Land with the digit five. That's at Lay of the Land with the digit five. So with today's edition of the Israel Brief and those top stories making headlines, I'm Rolene Marks and we'll check in with each other tomorrow.